Have you ever watched this clip of a US Army veteran chuck a baseball as if it was a grenade to the applause of a whole crowd? Or this Cirque du Soleil performer with an unbelievable feat of agility and acrobatics throwing a baseball? Before every baseball game, something like this happens. Usually much less cool though. It's called the ceremonial first pitch. Ah yes, the first pitch in baseball. A tradition that's been going on for a good while. With former US President William Taft being credited as really cementing it as a tradition all the way back in 1910. There's been some pretty good first pitches over the years, but there's also been a lot of really bad ones. Like this one, for example. Been taking a lot of L's recently and took another one today in Wrigleyville. Or this one. <laughs> Usually, if you throw a bad first pitch, the drama normally ends right there and people just laugh at you. But some are not so lucky. You may not believe it, but there have been plenty of infamous ceremonial first pitches for reasons greater than just whatever they threw it, they're horrible at throwing. There is truly a world of dark, scandalous, and controversial MLB pitches that you need to know about. Of course, I'm being dramatic, but I mean, you know, I thought it was a fun idea, so. Hello everyone, my name is SRS Fico, and as always, if you like this video, maybe consider subbing to the channel. It helps us out a ton. Anyways, let's get into it. As I mentioned earlier, there's been a few cases where first pitches did have consequences. Most of them not as serious as others, of course. For example, a lot of you have probably seen this one, and it is hilariously bad. This lady gets up there to throw the first pitch, and just forgets how to let go of the ball, I guess, and hits the guy on her left camera. Now, granted, it didn't look like she was throwing heat up there or anything, but if it was just a little bit higher and hit him in the face, it still probably would have hurt. It might have messed up the camera a bit, but at least he didn't have a black eye or a bloody nose, so there's that, I guess. So, I mean, as we saw, the most obvious way a first pitch can go wrong is if the first pitch er is so bad at throwing that they could actually hit someone with the ball. I mean, if the cameraman was crazy, I guess he could make it a scandal by trying to sue the lady or something. But besides a camera getting hit, there has been times when people have been hit too. Like, for example, in 2017 when this Red Sox fan threw the first pitch. Let's watch the video real quick. And there it is. With pinpoint accuracy, he absolutely nails that camera guy right in the cojones. They told me to wear a cup in high school, but I thought that was just because I was actually playing in the game. Now, thankfully, he did make a full recovery after being in critical condition for 72 hours and eventually uploaded the picture he took right before his bloodline disaster. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so people being in the wrong place at the wrong time can result in getting hit with the baseball. But what happens when someone gets hurt from a pitch that was thrown just fine? And this pitch resulted in a pretty serious injury as well. I don't think I'm actually gonna show the video for this one because it's pretty brutal and I wanna show respect for everyone involved. But in 2014, Angels legend Vladimir Guerrero is throwing out the first pitch to another Angels legend and current coach, Don Baylor. As Baylor was catching the ceremonial first pitch, he quite literally broke his leg. He wasn't gonna get in proper catching position because obviously it was just a slow first pitch. So when it went down to the right, he followed it and ended up up folding his leg over. For context, Don Baylor played 19 seasons in the big leagues, winning an MVP award in 1979. So how could he possibly break his leg squatting behind home plate to receive a first pitch? Well, the reason for this is actually pretty dark. He was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, which is a type of cancer that weakens the bones. So basically, poor physical condition preempted one of the saddest freak accidents you'll ever see. He did end up making a full recovery, thankfully, and even returned to coaching. Unfortunately, he passed away on August 7th, 2017 at the age of 68, but he will always be remembered as a legend of the sport. Sorry about the tonal shift there, but let's go back to talking about some of the fun ones, shall we? There's been times when a bit of corporate drama got in the way of someone even throwing the first pitch in the first place. According to the Houston Chronicle, in 2023, a guy named Mattress Mac was told he couldn't throw the first pitch, and this was just hours before the game he was supposed to do it in, by the way. And this is the same Mattress Mac who once won 75 million million dollars betting the Houston Astros would win the World Series. Apparently, because he's in the same industry as Mattress Firm, who is a league sponsor, they said, no, 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 you can't throw that pitch. Have you ever seen that before? A guy getting told he can't throw out the first pitch mere hours before game time over corporate meddling? Like, this guy's throwing a baseball at maybe 40 miles an hour before the game starts. Why is it now a battleground for a corporate war? Mattress Firm claims that they themselves never blocked Mr. Mattress from throwing in the pitch though. Going on record saying, we are here to help Astros fans crush their sleep, not their dreams. 
Ghost Rose. If we are to believe what Mattress Firm said, then it wasn't them who made the call, especially since MLB later claimed they were the ones who blocked it. In my professional opinion, just let the guy throw the ball, like who cares? Now, there's a funny little rule about the first pitch that you might not have known even existed, and it is relevant to the next story that I'm about to tell. Section 7.13 of the World Series Manual states, all first ball throwers are subject to final approval of the commissioner. Recommendations are solicited from participating clubs, but no commitments should be made until approval has been received. The use of politicians, movie stars, etc. will not be approved except in rare or unusual circumstances. Obviously, this rule is basically gone now since a ton of first pitches are thrown by celebrities or politicians, but there was once a time where it was used against a team. Game 2 of the 1979 World Series in Baltimore. The Orioles bring out the governor of their home state of Maryland, Harry Hughes, to throw the first pitch. He does so, everyone's happy, hooray, baseball! But MLB stepped in the way and was like, you messed up, boys. The Orioles were fined $2,500 by the commissioner of MLB because they didn't get approval to have a politician throw out the first pitch. The Orioles owner had no idea this rule even existed until the league found out this was happening and said to stop it. The Orioles refused and the governor laughed about it. The Orioles owner lost the equivalent of a little over $10,600 in today's money and not so long after the World Series itself. So uh, yeah, take that Orioles, said the MLB, I guess. Going back to some 2023 drama, an influencer named Sir Yacht, I guess, all due respect but I've never heard of this guy before, took the mound to throw the first pitch at a Cleveland Guardians game and completely whiffed. Yeah, it's pretty obvious he did it on purpose and didn't just accidentally trip. It's kind of like when a soccer or basketball player blatantly flops, but it's a ceremonial for first pitch. He did make a video called I threw the worst first pitch in MLB history. And there's two ways I can go about doing this. First, I can throw a decent pitch, which no one will ever remember. Or two, I can throw a pitch so horrendous that no one will ever forget it. So yeah. And since we're on the topic of being clowned for a first pitch, why don't we end this off with the granddaddy of all instances where someone lost all their coolness from throwing a baseball poorly. Ladies and gentlemen, 50 Cent. Uh oh, right. I ain't gonna do that again. 50 Cent was seen as a pretty cool guy back in his heyday. One of his most popular songs ever is about him surviving getting shot nine times. He's a Grammy winning artist. He has two third person shooters made all about him. This guy should be immune from looking dorky. That is until he threw a baseball. Also, the part about the third person shooters was kind of a joke. Those are goofy in their own right. 50 Cent managed to actually create a blemish on his career with how abhorrently bad his first pitch attempt, if you can even call it an attempt, was. In 2014, the New York Mets had him throw out a ceremonial first pitch to commemorate a concert he was gonna have at their stadium. Yeah, he pretty much does the same thing the lady we talked about earlier did, it just didn't hit the camera guy this time. And once Twitter got a hold of the clip, they made sure he'd remember this one. To this day, he has never escaped this in baseball. He would later say that once a cop pulled him over to tell him how awful his first pitch was. Tops even made a baseball card out of it. Plenty of articles came out calling him a laughing stock. It's been almost 10 years now. How is it possible that his cool factor seemed to be totally zen? adapt over throwing a baseball. Which is crazy because 50 claimed he had played baseball before. But he also said, I'm a hustler, not a ball player. So there's that, I guess. Also, I don't think that's necessarily why he actually fell off, but man. Doesn't imagining that just make it so much funnier. Thank you all so much for watching, and I want to bring up my friend again like I did in the last video, who's being refused treatment for his cancer and needs all the help he can get to pay for his treatment. I just want to get this out there as much as I can because it's looking kind of grim right now and he really needs the money. So if you can donate anything, the link will be in the description. But again, if you can't donate, I totally understand. But really, just anything helps at this point. Thank you again for watching, and if you do end up donating, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, have a lovely day. Peace.